This small seed teaches a wonderful lesson. Though Heavenly Father far surpasses us in knowledge and glory and power, we are His children. Within us is the potential to become like Him and return to His presence. Within us are the seeds of eternal life. God has declared that His work and His glory is to bring to pass the immortality and eternal life of man. Eternal life consists of two things. First, it means to return and be with God, but it means much more than that. Eternal life also means to be like God. This second meaning of eternal life is critical to our understanding of God's plan. There are four major aspects of God's nature that man must have if he is to be like him. First, he has both a spirit and a glorified immortal physical body of flesh and bones. Of great significance is the fact that God has eternal family. Finally, God is perfect in every respect. This is what is meant by the divine nature. He has perfect love and all power. He knows all things. He is merciful and long-suffering. The differences between us and our Heavenly Father appear staggering and insurmountable. How can we ever be as He is? This is only possible as we work in partnership with Him. His work and glory is to bring to pass our immortality and eternal life. He has a plan to accomplish this purpose. This plan is the way to eternal life. It might be likened to a bridge between man as he is and man as he may become. No knowledge on earth is more important than an understanding of this plan. And yet, how many of God's children, even some in the church, have a clear understanding of that plan? Can you explain Heavenly Father's plan for becoming like Him and returning to His presence? I think that Heavenly Father sent us back here with a goal for us to return to Him, and I feel that if we live by His teachings and... Um, do uh, what we're told and make sure that our readings are done that we'll be able to come back to Him. I believe that God, or Heavenly Father, um, sent us down on earth just to kind of test us and to prove ourselves and that we're just supposed to do our best. It's agency, isn't it? I mean, didn't Heavenly Father send us to earth to make choices? It's interesting that almost all of us recognize parts of the plan but we do not always see how the parts work together. Comparing the plan to a bridge helps us see how the parts fit into the whole. The plan can be divided into two major parts. The part that we must do in partnership with God is compared to the bridge span. The part that God does for us in bringing to pass our eternal life can be compared to the supporting pillars of the bridge. The creation, the fall and the atonement are the foundation of the plan. These are the parts of the plan Heavenly Father has set in place for us. Faith in Jesus Christ, repentance, baptism for the remission of sins, and receiving the gift of the Holy Ghost are what God requires us to do. He also requires us to endure to the end meaning we live by these principles and covenants throughout our entire lives. This is the plan, plain and simple. This is the way to eternal life. This plan was designed by God not only to get us from the world in which we live back into His presence, but to allow us to share in His glory when we become like Him. The plan can be labeled in a matter of minutes. A basic understanding of it can be learned in a matter of days. But it must be lived for the rest of our lives. Only as it is applied to daily living are we actually on our way to eternal life. 
There is a need inside of me to know why I'm here and what I can be. Become all I can. It's found within our Father's plan. Just like a seed struggling to grow, there's something divine that stirs in my soul. The eternal promise to become all I can. If I learn to live by our Father's plan. The father of man is eternal.